Hey, 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 everybody. It's Lala. It's Lala. Oh, it's that Lala gang. The real true gang. Let's react on that mommy on the gang. We ain't no thoughty on the gang. We ain't no begging gang. We ain't no skimming gang. We ain't no bending over gang. We ain't no tight clothes gang. We ain't no fake friends gang. It's that Lala gang. We the real mama gang. We ain't no fake. Drum gang, we ain't no scamming gang, we ain't no begging gang, it's that la la gang, holla holla holla, it's that la la gang. As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great, I am doing good myself, I hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed and sanitized and wearing y'all face masks and basically staying out of the way. Before we jump into this reaction video, just let me say, just in case your post notifications is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I do ask that you hop in your whip, hop in your who ride, go ahead and take that cruise on over because I do have them reaction videos up loaded okay i'll say y'all let's check that notification bell make sure your notification bell is set for all a hot and for you choose to have it set i'll say y'all let's check that subscribe bar make sure it's set for subscribe and not subscribe because y'all already know at the end of the day that way as i always say my thoughts is my thoughts and my opinions is Anyways, y'all, let's jump into this reaction. All right, so if y'all noticed, I did put a video out doing a whole reaction on my live life. I said my live life. Oh my God. I was about to say my jazz life, my live life. Doing a whole reaction on live life, or should I say live lives, or. <sighs> I don't even know what to call her. Um, so I am back. And you know what? I noticed, like, why am I doing reactions on live? Like, for what reason? At the end of the day, you're not true to yourself. You're not true to your subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And your supporters. You out here in this YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? You doing the most. You lying, okay? <laughs> you trying to start drama with people that ain't even trying to worry about you because your situation ain't right. You just out here in these streets looking real crazy. Mm -hmm. So when you see her, you just keep on cruising, y'all. Don't stop. Just leave her where she is because right now, because she put herself in a bad place, in a bad situation, and because her shit and her marriage and all this other stuff ain't working out. Girl, that's your fault and that's your problem. And I like how when I go over to listen to her Instagram when she on live on Instagram and how she talk about whoever this made up guy is being in prison I said prison, in jail or however the case may be it's okay now but y'all remember that day that she was at her old apartment, she was throwing all the shade. Talking about at least her baby daddy ain't been to jail and all this. And she ain't got seven baby daddies. It's like, live life is always trying to. She, she, she. Y'all know when y'all get ready to do that lawnmower, you gotta, you gotta yank it. You gotta, you gotta crank that shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's live life. And it just shows how bitter and sad. She is. And how she try to take her personal problems and throw it on everybody else. Girl, why you trying to stir up some shit with me and I ain't did shit to you just because your shit ain't right, okay? Because your household ain't right. You get what I'm saying? It's not my fault <laughs> that you out here looking crazy in these YouTube streets. That's your fault. Mm -hmm. So you can get on here and still get on your platform and try to say, haters, what is there to hate on? Hmm? I'm just saying. I mean, why should somebody hate because you stand in some type of... I gave her the benefit of the doubt to say hotel, but let me take that shit back. Motel, okay? You don't have your own comfort zone, but what is there to hate on about live life? What? Huh? I'll wait. So anyways, y'all, if y'all have noticed... <laughs> This same drama that we have dealt with with the Mamiana gang members and also live lives before, she is trying to crank that shit back up. I told y'all that's that lawnmower. You gotta, yep, you gotta, 
Y'all know about that. You got to pull that shit. Get that shit started. That's up. I want to know, why did she put out mingling, dingling, ling, ling address? Like, why would you do that? If you already noticed that you are in a sad situation, you are in a bond, you are at your bottom, you know what I'm saying? If you in a rough place right now, you're in the dark right now, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just falling upon you right now and not working in your favor or how you want it to work. Why would you do some old dirty shit like that? Trying to, you know what I'm saying? Leak people address and put it at her now when and I would be reading my comments, y'all, and y'all know how y'all was talking about the CPS cases and CPS coming to these ladies' house. Shit. It makes me wonder now, was live life behind this bull? Was live life doing all this dirty shit behind closed doors because she mad because y'all in y'all comfort zone right now and she ain't got no home. You know what I'm saying? When your shit ain't right, you'll try to do dirty shit because that's just... Me looking at her and listening to her, I already told y'all, she seemed like a snake to me, which means she'll do anything to get back at them. And I want to know, I also had somebody in my comments today was trying to tell me how the reason why she may always come at mingling, dingling, lingling is because Ming is over there living a life that she won't, but why the hell... <sighs> But why? I mean, I don't get it. You could have had your husband right there with you and your kids, but you chose to continue to make up lies. You chose to continue to push him away because you want to mess with all these guys on the outside or you actually thought you could hold this shit down and do better by yourself without him. Like I said in my other video, shit. You're going to burn that bridge because the person going to get tired. They're going to try to give you and be nice and put up and, and as much as they can. Then after that, they're going to throw you the deuce and say, you know what? You right. You do you. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. I got to go. And that's, I feel like that's what she getting right now. She can't get mad or, like I said, jealous of these other ladies for what? Because shit, if you really look at it, y'all all are the same. Yeah, y'all all get on here and y'all talk good shit and hot shit on the YouTube streets. But after a while, somebody's going to get broke down, okay? Somebody's going to be on their back. It didn't happen to each one of them. You get what I'm saying? So the same thing that happens to the other, going to reverse and happen to you. But I want to know why would she sit here and try to start shit with mingling, dingling for what reason when at the end of the day, ain't nobody talking about you. Ain't nobody said shit. When you the one brought this shit up and now you the start it, do you want, I mean, why don't you be jealous? Like she's over there in an apartment. She's renting. She's with her husband and her kids. Are you mad because you went over there and you thought you bought your home? But it really wasn't yours. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't understand. But for you to already be put in a deep situation to come out here and air her address out to everybody, is that because you don't have an address? So you're not worried about nobody reaching out and touching your ass? So that's why you would do some dirty shit like that? Mm. That's dirty, y'all. It's really dirty. Because at the end of the day, I don't feel that it's right. Because this is what you do to me, but I can't do shit to you. You know what I'm saying? I can't go back and say, okay, she gonna give my address out. Well, hell, I'm finna, I'm finna do the same for her. You can't do that because she, she had a motel some damn world. She don't have no address floating. And the address that she did have, hell, that, that, that's for everybody. Anybody can go on, what is it, Zillow and look it up. I think live life is very dirty, y'all. That's all I gotta say. And when you when you find people like that because they are in a dark space and and they shit is not working right, and so since they shit is not good, I'm gonna start shit with whoever I can start shit with. Because at the end of the day, it's going to bring her more traffic as well. And right now, that's what she needs. Because I believe a lot of people have unsubscribed to her as well. Also, y'all, how she continue to get on here and say, I'm still a boss bitch. How are you a boss bitch? Hmm. See, when they talk like that, I try to sit and try to figure it out. 
You getting on here and telling everybody I'm still a boss bitch. But you're in a motel and you ain't making no boss bitch moves. So, how's you still fixing your mouth to say, I'm still a boss, bitch? Girl, I want you to realize the shit that you are going through right now. I want you to realize how you look on these YouTube streets right now. So, when you bring up live lies or live life or whoever the hell, ain't nothing about you say. Boss bitch, boss moves. None. Not at all. It says, I'm a liar. It says, I'm, I'm jealous. It says, uh, right now, I mean, I don't even know what to say. And it's crazy to me, y'all, as I have found out that she leaked this lady's address, it's like, what was the purpose, okay? But then you come on here and you put out a video, which I know this video was made way long time ago. She had her nails on, and that's probably the time that she got on here when she had this U-Haul truck, and she was sitting in the dark smoking and talking. That was the time. So this is not now. When she got now where she's she done landed in a motel. This was before. So she put the video out, you know what I'm saying, want to talk about her situation and talk about my home. Well, you can continue to call the house yours, but once you're not there no more, it's not yours. And once you have cut all ties with it, which means how is it yours when you're not renting it out to somebody? You, can, you can't you can say my home. Yes, you may put your money down on my home, but somehow you couldn't pay for it. Even if, you know, it was just up to you to move, however, the case may be it's not yours no more. Bye. Goodbye. Go along, find your way, another home, because this ain't yours. <sighs> you know, sometimes you're going to hit rock bottom, y'all. I'm not going to say that you're not going to hit rock bottom. You will. Sometimes. Sometimes you will hit that wall. Sometimes you'll get on here and try to make yourself look like the shit all the time. And then once you hit that wall, you just, you don't know how, you don't know how to act. You don't know what to do. But deep down inside, you're hurt. You're mad at yourself. So you trying to take it out on everybody else. You get what I'm saying? And all you want to do is break down and cry. Even looking at her on the live, y'all, she don't look happy at all. I wouldn't be happy neither. Shit. I came from being in a house that I thought me and my husband and my kids was going to be in. But at the end of the day, you knew this guy did not want to be there. He told you that before you actually moved there and waste your money that you had. He told you. But you didn't listen because at the end of the day, you feel like you run the show. And what you say goes. But I'm telling you, girl, you're back in Texas now. You better watch it because you got a lot of people out here in Texas don't like you, okay? They don't like you at all. And they just waiting to reach out and touch you, okay? Because your mouth gets you in that position. Then you come across and you just, well, I'm going to leave her address. And then try to act like you didn't do it. Or, well, I put it out there, but I didn't give her door number. But how would you feel if somebody did that shit to you? You wouldn't like it, okay? But it's okay right now because as I said, she don't have a place to stay. She don't have a permanent address. So there is nothing to give out. But she a boss bitch making boss moves, y'all. Can y'all put in the comments down below, how does that work? Can you give me the definition of that? And if you was to give me the definition of that, is that live lies? Hmm, no. Broke down. Trying to be somebody. Type of chick. Yeah, that's what you are. Broke down trying to be somebody. Want to be known for something. 
So the best thing that I can do is get on here and talk major shit and run my mouth. The best thing that I can can do is get on here and start shit and then feel like, oh, everybody is <laughs> hating on me. Girl, please, for what? You ain't got shit to hate on. Nothing at all. It's sad. And the bad thing about it is her own supporters don't see the, the nonsense. They don't see the foolery. They still over there sleep. Mm-hmm. Wake y'all ass up. Sending her money for what? Hell, y'all have done enough by buying shit off her registry for her house that she don't even have. And did y'all ever think about when she put that registry up, how she came back and took it down? Because guess what? Her bank account was looking funny. She was broke. So why do I have a registry when I can just have them cash at me and I can use this money for whatever purposes I need? Did y'all ever think about that? They continue to scam y'all out of money and y'all ain't even see it. So you get on here and send her a whole hundred dollars for what? She got money. If she can go spend a thousand on shoes and get on here and want to do a haul, what the hell is you sending your money to her for? She don't need it. What she going through right now, she need to go through. Because hell, it should wake her ass up. Quit burning your bridges. Quit trying to snake people and get over on people. And then try to say, oh, I left the group. Doesn't matter. That's why you don't have no friends now. That's why you alone now. And you ain't got nobody to turn to. Where is your mama? Where is your sister? Why is you in a motel room? Because at the end of the day, when you was over there with your husband, your mama had somewhere to stay. I'm just saying. Hmm. That's it, y'all. Anyways, y'all. If y'all like this video, let's go give it the thumbs up. And if y'all have not, as y'all do, just subscribe. Because hey, it's Lala.